This video will provide a quick overview of the Census product, Table Builder, and the differences between each of its three versions, Table Builder Guest, Table Builder Basic, and Table Builder Pro. Table Builder is an online data tool in which you can create tables, graphs, and maps of census data. It is designed to help you produce data specific to your needs. Using Table Builder, you can quickly construct tables of census data for a range of geographic areas, from state level all the way down to small area geographies like postcodes and mesh blocks. You can choose how you display the data, whether by counts or by percentages, and you can create customized geography areas and data items to help bring to life the story you want the data to tell. So which version of Table Builder is best for you? Table Builder Guest is a free product that allows you to access Table Builder basic data sets without completing registration. You can create and download tables up to 10,000 cells in size, generate and download graphs, automatic maps, and display data by counts or percentages. However, you will not be able to save tables create large tables or recodes and will be limited in the number of data sets you can access. Table Builder Basic is another free product that requires you to register an account. Once logged in, you will have access to all Table Builder features including saving a table online and creating custom recodes. You will also have access to most census data in a range of topic based data sets that include classifications such as age, education, housing, income, transport, religion, and occupation. Table Builder Pro is available by paid subscription and designed for advanced census data users who want the freedom to create large or complex tables, up to 40 million cells in size. Using Table Builder Pro, you can access nearly all variables available in the census data and create a large variety of cross-classified tables with person, family and dwelling variables. To learn how to use Table Builder, check out the Table Builder tutorial series. This concludes the Table Builder overview.